All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Outsiders. Back from our little hiatus, haven't posted a video in quite a while just because uh, I've been working a lot and took a few summer classes so I could fish more in the fall for the steelhead. So that's why we've been gone for a little bit, but we're finally back at it today. I'm in the garage right now, getting all my gear ready. We're actually going carp fishing for, the, for my first time ever. I only ever caught one carp, and that was when I was jigging for bass and it was a pretty unexpected catch, but I've been dying to catch a bigger fish, so I'm going out with uh, Trent. You've probably seen him on the channel here a couple times before. He used to fish for carp when he was younger, so he's taken me to one of his spots he knows, and if nothing, I might have another spot in mind, so let's stop talking. I'm gonna wait for him to pick me up, and then I'll see ya when we're at the first spot. Be at the spot. Right here. Yep. Oh yeah. Whole kernel. What the heck? Yeah. No. Whole kernel. What? Is that bro? Are these smallmouth breaking the surface over there? They used to throw the poppers all here all the time when it would get just good night time. They used to smoke poppers back here. Dang bro, that's the second one we've seen jump. I don't think it was a freaking squirrel or something that fell out of the tree. That was a pretty no, that big a That had to be a fish. Alright Trent, you go after smallmouth. I'm, and I'm gonna start baiting up these carp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave set of rifle. guys right when we got down here we seen one carp right in front of us but he swam into the depths over there so jump it up oh yeah that should do the trick right there not too many i think that should do the trick already threw some bread on the surface got our can of corn right here about to set up the rods and get all line wet let's see if we catch it Well, I'm gonna go with the old faithful man. The Bass Pro broken tip was seven foot, now well, six ten. Little size. This is actually a steelhead bead hook right here. I got size twelve, and I never caught these carp before. But Trent was saying uh, when he used to come here, here years before, he just put a lot of weight on the line like this, have it sit on the bottom, put your rod in the rod holder, wait. And hopefully catch one so that's the plan let's get these weights on the line some bread on the hook and cast it out there dude they're freaking out there we're just missing them all trying to these are Try to throw, throw behind that rock. Money, cash money. Someone's definitely tapping my line. There's something, there's something. Find something? Yep, I got something on. That might be the carp we're after, boys. 
this might be the carp we're after. It's definitely feeling big. Hey, get that camera, get that camera right there. Yeah, dude, we got a carp on. Let's freaking go. It's all right, it's all right. Just, leave it. just leave it in the water. Oh, come on. That's a nice carp. That's a nice carp. Oh yeah. Oh yes. Oh, come on, please, Landon. Please, 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 Landon. Oh, wait. That is not a freaking carp, bro. What is it? That is not what we were freaking after. <laughs> you see it? A freaking snapper, dude. Come on. I thought that was a freaking carp. I don't even know how to get this thing off. All right, let me reel as close as I can to him. I'll probably snap the line because I don't want to risk getting my finger chomped off by him. There we go. Dang, bro. That is really unfortunate. I could have sworn that was a carp all the way out there that hit my uh, bread, but no, freaking snapper. We did move spots and we are seeing quite a few right here, but I'm gonna try get back out there and maybe catch another carp this time. Try, try, try. Carp, carp. Oh shoot guys, I got the hook set on camera, but I did not freaking realize the GoPro was on, so I just turned it off. But he is freaking running all the way down the creek. If you can, Trent, get the camera and get the net. This is definitely a carp because when I hooked that freaking turtle there, it was like a rock. But this guy just shot down the creek, yo. Oh yeah, I could already see the silhouette too. That's a nice carp. Oh, come on. Let's land him. Never caught a carp before in my life. Well, I did catch one by accident while jigging for bats, but this is the first carp I caught that I actually meant to, because I'm actually targeting him now. My boy Trent here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Pretty comparable to a steelhead fight right here. It's just minus the head shakes. Pulling pretty hard. Is it? Whoa! Whoa! Ah, got light Fort Bomb leader on here too. Oh. How about that rod bend? Whoa! Whoa! Oh yeah. There is, like I said, it's fighting just as good as a steelhead. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah, dude. Did your rod just fold over or did it? I, I had it out there and my line was slack a little bit because it was blowing in the wind and all of a sudden it went soup and I picked up a rod, set the hook, hooked up to this guy right here. Oh yeah. Oh. 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 Oh, dude. Dude, 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 dude. He's running all the way down the creek again. We started like 50 yards the other way. Yeah, get that set up for a net job. Good idea. Trent with the smart thinking out here. You, you hear that, Trent? They do. Good thing is, too, I'm happy he swam right out of the hole we were fishing, so I don't think he's going to spook the other ones. Oh, shoot. He's going by them weeds. There's two patches of weeds out there. I don't know if you guys can see them. One to the left, one to the right. At this point, freaking putting out a better fight than the steelhead now. The freshwater steelhead. I mean, the warm water steelhead, a.k.a. the carp, common carp. Dude, that's big! Shoot, it's a big one. Oh, 
<laughs> you gotta go, you gotta go for it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Let's go! First carp ever! Dude! That's a look how thick he is! I know what I'm saying there. Oh my god. Guys, we gotta get the big camera and hold him up for you. Alright guys, get a load of that carp I just caught, dude. He makes this net look small and it's a pretty decent sized net, so let me hold him up for you. This, what do you think, Chen? How, how big do you think he is? Definitely in the teens, might be pushing 20. Once you see his gut, you guys will be the judge. What do you think, Chen? Stay around 16-ish. 16-ish? Alright, let me hold him up. Alright guys, I'm going to try to hold him up, but I never held these before. He's pretty slimy. Just grab my high yeah, you would hold a steelhead. How about that right there? You got a good picture? Yeah. All right, guys. That is definitely high teens, possibly 20s. I'm going to hold him in the water. He should be, oh, look, he's already kicked off right away. Look at that, guys. Amazing. First spot of the day, nothing. I said, hey, Trent, I think I have a spot in mind. Never seen carp here, but once we were fishing here, I did see a dead carp on the bottom of the creek. So I just popped in my mind, said, hey, uh, Trent, let's try a new spot. Right when we got here, we could see three carp on the surface disappeared, seen more carp, they disappeared, seen more carp. So there's definitely a lot in this hole. We're going to get back out there, try to catch some more. The corn didn't seem to be working, but bread definitely is. So we're going to throw on some more white bread and see if we catch any more. Oh, it looks like there's a storm moving in up there. Maybe the fish, that last fish I caught, sensed it was going to be a storm. So he wanted to fill up his belly. Hopefully the fish are turning on right now because that's the most action we got in the entire day. Turtle and then back to back a carp. I see one right now swimming right on the surface. I think I'm gonna let this one be right here, put it in my little makeshift rod holder right here. There, loosen the drag all the way in case it pulls it. I should do a trick. I'm gonna get my other rod set up too. I still haven't retied it from that turtle so. Let this one sit in, retie my other one and see what happens in between that time. Dang, freaking another turtle. That's pretty unfortunate. Hell, I didn't think there was that many snappers in this hole, but I guess there is. There it is. Definitely don't know how to handle these guys, so we're just breaking it off as close as we can. Getting close, close in and breaking them off. Well, if we, were, if we were targeting turtles, we would be having a pretty good day right now. <laughs> You're saying, Noah, let me free. <laughs> all right, mister. All right, Trent. Come back with all of your uh, fingers. See you later, Mr. Turtle. All right. Tell your freaking carp friends, get on our lines, that's what we need. Oh, oh. Yep, 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 yep. Fish on, fish on, guys. Pick this, pick this right up. Let's this Drag just a little bit. Yep. <laughs> Dude, that thing ran like, oh, oh my god, my heart just dropped right there. Now there are quite a few submerged logs there, so I do not want him to run it there. He ran, he ran upstream, which got me. Oh, no, 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 no. He's by the trees, he's by the trees. He's by the trees. He's almost in the logs. Oh, we just pulled him out, we just pulled him out. But the guy's still not good. He's in the logs right on the other side of the shore. I seen him on the surface by that submerged log, and I got scared that he got tangled, but I got him out. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He is not wanting to come downstream. We're gonna have to take him upstream because that's the way he's pulling me right now. I'm fine with upstream, just anywhere but in front of us. Might be just as big as last. Holy guys, we were down to our last loaf of bread. Trent put on the last ball. So I said, hey, I'll use the corn. Threw some corn out there. And ended up hooking to this guy. So I'm gonna stand my ground right here and try to pin him because there is another log right in front of us. Gonna hold him here, try to tire him out. Definitely did not compare. We definitely did not come prepared because we didn't bring enough bait. And this might be a little too light of a rod, but hey, I'm still enjoying the fight on it. Four pound test, seven foot ultralight, the old faithful. He's right there, he's right there, he's right there. See that log there, Trent? Yep. No, you gotta get him out of there. Yeah. yeah I'm turning him back, I'm turning him back. This might be bit this might be bigger than the last. Well I'll tell you one thing, standing in this water sure got me cold off. How how hot was it today, Trent? Eighty five. Eighty five and sunny. Holy smokes. And it was sunny too. Oh. It's very dangerous. You guys can obviously see these two trees sticking right on, right above the water. I'm just holding them right in between. My plan is to swing them to a giant rainbow, like the Trent. You can't see in the mud, you can't see. <laughs> but that was a good picture right there. Big old freaking carp again. Get a load of that. Oh, man. can't even let's freaking. Walk it over here. Yeah, let's walk it over there, guys. We're gonna get you a good view of this. Look at this. Zoom in on this. That's a thick tail right there. I can't even get my my fingers fully across it. This guy's gonna be tough to hold up, but we'll try our best. Yikes. I must be smelling like fish the whole day. Got that? Got it? Ooh -wee. This one put up an insane fight too. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if that was thicker than the last, but that was definitely longer than the last because his tail was popping straight out of the net. I say definitely around the same size. I don't know how long we're gonna stay out here because gotta get home pretty soon, so. We're gonna do a couple more casts with corn since we're all out of bread. See what else we can catch. So far, it's been a pretty great day of carp fishing. My first time ever targeting carp. Trent behind a camera, he used to do it when he was a kid, but this is the first, his first time out on years as well. So next time, we're definitely gonna be prepared. Next time, with heavier gear, more bait, 
and yeah more time to fish so let's get our back down to our spot we we're like a hundred yards from where we started so I'm gonna walk back to, down there get our rods in the water get some more bait and see if we can have hook up to one more before the day ends let's go all right guys that's gonna wrap up the day for today all in all pretty fire day for my first time carp fishing Trent here he showed me uh, some of his tricks that he used to catch the carp on and they worked for me but not so much for him <laughs> but hey his techniques do work so he taught me a little bit we learned quite a few lessons today so next time we're that we'll be fishing we'll be better prepared and unfortunately as you can see in the sky I don't know how well it picks up on camera but those are some pretty dark clouds right there so me and Trent uh, uh, about 10 minute walk to the car hopefully it doesn't downpour on us by then but it's hope you close. hear that I don't know if the camera picked that up again, but it's definitely a r rumbling, rumbling some thunder out there. So we're going to head out. Uh, if it does, probably head out hopefully another time this week if we're both free. Maybe next time Colin will join us too. But epic day. Got anything else to say? That's it. <laughs> All right. That's it. We'll see you guys in the next episode.